Final Score Friday with Sports Director Lane Casadante and Sean Robertson. Sponsored by Bojangles, Loyalty Automotive, and Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. Good evening, everyone. Week nine already of Final Score Friday. Sean and I honored to be joined by the cheerleaders from Armstrong High. Their Wildcats had the week off. They are nice enough to come in and join us on their week off tonight anyway. So thank them for being here. Our game of the week, something of a preliminary playoff game in that the loser wouldn't have their season come to an end, but it'd be an awful lot tougher to make the postseason. Both Mills Godwin and Douglas Freeman would be in the playoffs as of tonight. The winner would be able to put more distance between themselves and the cutoff spot. The final score Friday game of the week is sponsored by Bojangles. Add to that the fact that this is one of the oldest robberies in the region. The series has been split over the last six regular season meetings. Second quarter, 6-0 Freeman when quarterback Jaden Reese keeps it himself for an 11-yard touchdown. Mavericks up 12-0 after the missed PAT. Later in the quarter, Godwin's quarterback Daniel Wiener caps the drive with a one-yard run. Eagles trail 12-7 at the break. Third quarter, same score. Reese sets up the screen and Warwick Stevenson will do the rest. Running through the fog for the touchdown. Freeman is up 18 to 6 to the fourth after a Godwin turnover on the very next play. Kayla Fisher, he too runs through the fog. He goes 50 yards for the touchdown. Freeman goes to 7 and 2 on the year as they take it 32 7 the final. We, we challenged them a few weeks ago that we got to get back to you know winning at the line of scrimmage and uh, fortunately we've been able to do that. Uh, you know only three possessions in the first half, which you know it's kind of like wow, only three possessions. We were burning up a lot of clock. Sticking in the West End, number one Highland Springs on the road tonight at Hermitage. Springers haven't given up more than a touchdown in a month. They got off to a good start. Christian Martin. Finds George Lovelace in the flat. He does the rest. 35 yards on the touchdown as he gets inside the pylon of the Springers lead 7 to nothing. Then Martin on fourth down. 30 yards to Tamandri Braxton. Slides into the end zone. Makes it 14 to nothing after the first quarter. Second quarter, Martin again to Jakari Henley. Into the corner with a sliding catch. 29 to nothing. Springers oh, at the safe. half. They roll over the Panthers 36 to 6, the final. We head up to Ashland, number two, Thomas Dale taking on Patrick Henry. These two haven't met on the field since 1969. The Knights still comfortably atop the Region 6 standings, and they look to add to that tonight. Nakata Hines, a one yard touchdown run, 7 0 Knights at that point. Second quarter, here come the Patriots. Pat Grayson Johnson running through the defense. 28-yard touchdown run. Game tied at seven. Just before the half. Johnson this time through the air. Edwin Henderson with the catch and run. Patriots up 14-7 at the break. Third quarter, Thomasville would take over. Nick Tyree doing his thing through the ground. 19-yard touchdown run. That tied it up at 14. He would add an 80-yard run in the fourth quarter as the Knights come from behind to take it 28-17 in the final. Knights stay undefeated down in Chesterfield. Third ranked Manchester on the road at LC Bird. Skyhawks trying to hang on to a playoff spot after they fell to Huguenot last week. Manchester gets on the board first. Makai Byerson going to take the screen pass and he's gone 62 yards on the touchdown and the Lancers had a 7-0 lead. Then Corey Holland. Nearly doubles it with a five-yard touchdown run. Missed the extra point. It's 13 to nothing. Bird responds. Shamir Williams to Nasir Banks. He gets hit on the catch, but he hangs on and gets down inside Lancer territory where Williams goes five yards to Jay Smalls. Makes it 13-7. That's as close as they would get. The Lancers pull away in the second half, and they advance 22-7 over the Skyhawks. Let's go to the East End. Fourth-ranked Verina hosting at Lee, trying to keep pace with King George. In Region 4B, the Raiders could use an upset to get themselves back into the pitcher. Early on, at least Brooks Collins has his pass tipped and then picked off by Elijah Brown. He'll bring it into Raiders territory. A couple of plays later is Linwood Johnson 
finding Eric Smith and the Liberty commit is on his horse gone 43 yards for the score Verina up seven nothing later is Johnson connected with Jordan Edwards for a 36 yard score 14 and three Blue Devils at that point they roll 41 three the final over at least Looks like Verina is hitting their stride at the right time of the year down in the Tri Cities number seven Matoka on the road at Petersburg Warriors coming off a convincing road win at Hopewell last week. Bryce Yates. Very first oh, action of the, the game. No oh, lane, yeah. No returns lane. the kick. You got to answer for yourself. He's going to return <laughs> this 76 yards for the touchdown. Warriors have a 7 0 lead. Later, after forcing a three and out on defense, Warriors quarterback Riley Justice. 19 yard touchdown pass to Dylan Newton short. It doubles their lead. The Warriors now up 14 to nothing. Then with defense, Victor Afalabi nice. is going to come up with the sack. Later, Justice and Newton Short would connect again in the second quarter. This was all Warriors tonight. Don't show the score, please. 46 oh, to nothing. You didn't have to do over that. Over the Crimson Wave. Still to come, plenty more scores and highlights as week nine rolls on on Final Score Friday.